Sometimes it's best to keep your biggest dreams, goals, and desires to yourself as sharing too much can often invite unwanted opinions. So today we're going to talk about why gatekeeping your dreams can be more powerful for staying focused. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pamela and today we're going to be talking all about why it is good and in your best interest to keep your biggest dreams, goals, and desires just for you and only you. As soon as you start telling people about things that you have, things that you want, or things that you are going to do and that you're currently working on, so much can happen. And worst of all, it can convince you to even stop what it is that you are doing. So in today's video, I want to break down some tips on why and how you should be gatekeeping your dreams and keeping it just to yourself and at the end of this video i also want to give you guys a little homework assignment on how to take quick action and three steps that you can do to immediately get to work after watching this video because i know sometimes the tips and all this content can be a little bit overwhelming because there's a ton of information so to make it a lot easier for you guys i want to start doing these little like homework assignments at the end of the video so make sure to like comment subscribe and let's get started with the tips Tip one is protect your energy by limiting outside noise and influence. So when you share your goals too widely, you are letting the influence and the external noise get inside your head. And because of this, it can cause all kinds of criticism and outside opinions that you honestly did not ask for. So because of that, it can lead us to be a lot less motivated and even convince you that your dreams and your goals or what it is that you are working towards is not worth it and you should do something else. This can include for you to be more realistic or do things that other people are doing your age and you want to avoid these kinds of people and this energy at all costs and it is sad but true that so many people even those that are close to you such as friends and family sometimes those people without us even knowing it can be our biggest haters or can be the biggest people that behind closed doors are talking about you or have this secret animosity towards you it can even be people that follow you online that you haven't talked to in years that have this energy within themselves that they want to wait and see if you are going to fail they want to have that aha moment of i was right and they want to wait for this to actually happen to see if you are going to fail and see if what you are doing is not actually ever going to go through and i'm saying this because i have been through this and i feel like a lot of people have too but the good news is that not everybody thinks like this and not everybody has the worst intentions but it is good to just always listen to comments from people try to read between the lines and decipher is this person really trying to see if you are going to grow or do they just want to bring you back down with them like for example we all have those friends that don't really like to say congratulations or they don't really have a lot of high energy when it comes to celebrating you and so those are the kind of people that you really don't want to be super close with the kind of people that you don't want to be friends with and it's really important like i said read between the lines see the comments is it literally like pulling teeth when it comes to congratulating you that they literally just don't want to say anything look at those signs and then think do i want this person in my life so by keeping things private and to yourself you have the right to own your dreams you have the right to your own energy so protect this creative drive from any outside source from any kind of negativity because you need to remember your goals and your dreams are for you and only for you Tip two is let actions speak louder than words. It is time for you to stop saying and thinking all of these things and to actually start taking action. I was a victim of this as well, where everything that I did used to always stay in this idea world in my head. And I used to always say like, oh, I'm going to start waking up early. Oh, I'm going to work out more. I am going to read more. All of these things that I wanted to do that I kept saying either to myself or to those around me. And I never actually did anything. And it's even worse when you start telling people all the things it is that you want to do or that you are about to do and you haven't done a single thing a lot of people like to measure things in days and Alex Armozi said this in one of his videos that I watched this week which is that if you measure things in years or decades then you are on the right track so if you choose to share your goals or your dreams with people they are waiting like I said to have that I was right moment or to have that I told them so moment and they are waiting every time another day or another week passes and you still haven't achieved the thing it is that you are talking about but as long as you were the person who is looking at your timeline years ahead and you're not trying to make things happen in the shortest amount of time possible then you are already ahead of most people so instead of putting your energy towards telling everyone what it is that you are going to be doing show it to them instead there is this satisfaction that we feel when we want to tell people all the things it is that we want to do because it's exciting to talk about it but then where is the follow-through after that where is the actual 
actual step-by-step -step action plan that you are taking to make these things happen or are you going to be someone that's just going to continue to talk about these things so by letting results speak for themselves you're going to feel a lot more accomplished and you're going to be even more confident in yourself because you're not just talking about plans but you're actually going out there and doing it and a small example of this for me has a lot to do with content creation when i started doing social media as a senior in high school i waited until the month that i was graduating high school to finally start because i was so afraid of what people were going to say about me and so that exact month in june 2020 i launched my blog and i started taking social media a lot more seriously so the first two years were obviously the most cringe the most embarrassing and i was scared because i knew that people were going to judge and they were going to say something but when i got invited to my first event with revlon in 2022 and then i got a brand deal then i started getting all of these free things in the mail i felt validated because i created my own validation and i let my actions show for themselves i wasn't just some girl that was letting everyone in my hometown know hey i'm gonna be a content creator hey i'm gonna be an influencer in fact i didn't even tell anybody that i was gonna be a content creator i literally just went and i did it i did everything in secret on the back end i was the one staying up until 2 to 3 a.m messaging brands on instagram saying hey can we work together i was the one staying up crafting the perfect email to reach out to companies making a media kit saving outfit inspiration then saving money to go to h&m and buy the dupes of the outfits that i wanted to create that i saw online i was the one doing all of this work on the back end and the behind the scenes late at night that no one saw no one saw these moments except me and so when things started happening i'm now at the point years later where while well, everyone is now just scrambling to get things together now these people that are asking me how did you do this how can i do this how did you reach out reach out to these brands the truth is the harder you work the luckier you get so it wasn't just something that appeared out of thin air for me i've been working for years on building up my personal brand getting more comfortable in front of the camera trying different avenues finishing college taking a chance on myself literally the harder you work the luckier you get but you actually have to work in order to see what can happen Number three is have internal validation rather than seeking it externally. You have to prioritize this internal validation for yourself because when it comes to achieving the things it is that you want, we may want to get this immediate gratification because that may be the only way that we feel like, okay, now I'm successful when in reality, it has to be within us. So an example of this can be getting praised by the public for our achievements. If you're a business owner, you may think I need to be in Forbes or Entrepreneur Magazine or business insider in order to feel like my business is successful or if you are a content creator you might think i don't have a million followers so i'm not successful or i haven't worked with this brand but everybody else has that is something that you need to get rid of because once you get rid of that external validation and that need for other things outside of yourself to make you happy then things are going to be so much better for you and the reason why is because you are training yourself to only rely on you and be your own support system to be your own belief system you have to create this self alliance especially when things are hard and this is what is going to build that resilience that commitment and i heard this other quote the other day also from alex ormosi which he said if you had to create a human and you wanted them to be tough what would you put them through it probably wouldn't be a chill life. If you wanted someone who's going to come out the other side with patience, you probably wouldn't give them things immediately. If you wanted someone to come out hard on one side, they probably wouldn't go through a soft life where everything was given to them. If you wanted someone to have grit, then you probably have to have them fail over and over again before they would succeed. And this quote from him, every time I hear it, it really stands out to me because you have to go through things. We all have to go through things and experiences good and bad in order to come out the other side. But you have to create that self-reliance and that confidence within yourself you can't rely on other people or things especially when things start to get tough so instead of waiting to finally be recognized by people or things or news outlets or news sources or anything that is external you have to create that validation within yourself wake up every day with the mindset that you are winning that you are on the road less traveled by and you are doing the hard stuff now so that your life can be easier later because the truth is that many people want the easy now but in return that is just going to lead you to a harder life down the road tip four is reduce performance anxiety with private goals i like this tip a lot because it basically means that by keeping things to yourself you feel 
less of a need to perform for others and you create less pressure for yourself you have less accountability when it comes to achieving things by a certain timeline for others rather than just you focusing on your own timeline and not what other people are doing so when goals are personal and only you know them you have less performance anxiety like i said because you know that you are facing these challenges and these setbacks on your own there's no weight from the expectation of others because you're simply doing things for you and only for you so instead of oversharing stop doing that and going out of your way to impress people with things that you are doing when instead like i said before stop saying and start doing everybody loves to talk but no one loves to do so keep your things personal and you are going to feel a lot less scared about failing or a lot less worried about what people are talking about and what people will think of you and if i'm being honest only you will remember your failures and your low moments we think that people are keeping tabs on us that they are holding us accountable to so many of these things and you know i mentioned earlier that a lot of people are waiting on your downfall but also so many people are so focused on themselves and what they are doing that they don't really see all the little things that we see every day we are the ones that are so nitpicky with ourselves and that can lead us into insanity we can nitpick our whole lives and if you're still not doing something at, at the end of the day about it and going about your goals then you are just going to constantly criticize yourself every single day for the rest of your life we all have our own life we have our own things to worry about no one is more worried about you than you no one thinks about your future or your goals more than you so whether you fail in public or private it's more about the bounce back than anything else and i have a whole video on how to embrace failure how to actually bounce back from life when it hits us because let's face it we are always going to have those moments where we get hit and it's about how we bounce back and i want to say this quote from the rocky movie that i really really like which goes the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place and i don't care how tough you are it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if if you let it you me or nobody is going to hit as hard as life but it ain't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward that's how winning is done Tip five is prioritize progress over perfection. I want to make this into an entire video because this is something that a lot of us need to focus on more because even during the most doubtful of times, we are always going to have that little voice in our head. We are always going to have those thoughts that keep us from pursuing and doing the things it is that we want to do, but we have to push past that and remember that progress is better than perfection. When it comes to doing anything, whether you're trying a new sport, you're starting a new hobby, or you're literally just doing anything new in life we may feel the need to want to be perfect right away we want to be good at all of these things right away and have that instant immediate gratification and that is something that even i personally have really been working on overcoming over the last few years because when i started doing social media of course i wanted followers i wanted the brand deal opportunities i wanted the chance to connect with people and build an audience but a lot of people think that all these things that they see online come so easy for people like those who have big businesses or have these physical things to show off like a new car or a new purse we have to think about how people got to where they are today people don't like to look at the ugly they don't want to get into the nitty-gritty of things they don't want to hear that this person woke up at 4 a.m to get started on their business they want to hear that they bought a new ferrari they got a lamborghini they just went and bought a birkin that is what people want to hear and a really great example is mr beast he's probably the biggest youtuber in the world he has millions upon millions of followers and probably billions of views on all of his videos but he has videos going back years and years ago over a decade literally 12 years ago where he has no videos like how he does today and his first videos were minecraft videos black ops gameplays how much money do these certain youtubers make and then he started uploading these video diary style content he was like a dear future me hi me in a year me in two years and then his content changed and then he started a similar style to what he is doing now and what he does today which is the challenges and the philanthropy content but the point is that just like everybody else we all start from zero we all start from nothing but just because you have nothing doesn't mean that you can't be something so the point of that is just to show that he was creating content for well over a decade before things now look like how they do before he got all of the success and all of these things that he now has today don't get caught up in the success and the achievement of others don't compare your day one to someone's day 1000 because comparison will always be the thief of joy 
The last and final tip for today's video is surround yourself with people who push you to keep going. So gatekeeping doesn't mean that you have to isolate yourself, but instead find a few trusted people who really support your growth because that is what can be so valuable for you. They can remind you of your potential and keep you going, especially when self-doubt appears. They are the ones who are going to help give you that confidence and persevere even when it's hard. And I know I said before, be your own support system, be your own belief system. That is a 100% true, but there are going to be moments where you are going to want at least one or two people to talk to. And for me, my sister is a really big part of that. She's a really big part of my support and my belief system. And like I've mentioned in other videos, when I am down, I want someone to help pick me up and she is that person for me. And when she is down, I want to be the person and I always am the person that picks her back up. Like I said, gatekeeping doesn't have to be this. I need to be alone. I keep, I'm keeping my dreams to myself. It can be finding the right people and making sure that you guys are all valuable to each other that you guys are all there to pick each other back up and even if you don't have this group yet because you're in the process of you you're shedding that old skin you don't really fit in with your old friends your old acquaintances anymore everyone is kind of just on different wavelengths that is totally okay because listen when i was going through this new phase of my life as well where i knew i wanted to be different i knew i wanted to be better and i knew that the people around me didn't really reflect that i had to make a lot of changes and even though i had no in my life that was going through the same or similar changes i found people online that were and that is what i tethered to so i found people online that had the life or the lifestyle that i wanted and i studied them i studied their stories and i used that as my motivation to keep going i said this before in my videos but one of my female founder role models sarah blakely I've sold fax machines for seven years before she started spanx now she's a billionaire same thing with tara bosch she was a college dropout joined an accelerator program had an idea for candy sold it for 360 million dollars all of these women and men that had these ideas started from nothing they had an idea they had grit they had resilience and they went out there and they did something in the world but all these great entrepreneurs and creatives they shook the narrative and they took the box that they were put in and they molded it into something else instead they made their own life life didn't just happen to them they made life happen for them they went out there and took a chance on themselves and made their dreams and their goals happen so if you're in the same boat where you're like how i felt life was really hard i didn't really have a group of people that i fit in with i didn't really have people that i was close to in terms of let's work ourselves up like let's go up together something that i did was i studied these people i found role models and i studied their stories i read articles about them i listened to them on podcasts and i literally just studied their story and i want to give you guys this last quote before i close off this last tip and before we get into the action plan and i believe it was steve harvey that said this and it goes do you realize that it's less crowded on the road to success than the road to mediocrity when people want to be average and mediocre it's crowded go be great it's not crowded up there and that quote is something that i love Love, and I have written it down because it is so true the price for success is not something that everybody is willing to pay so you should be the one and you can be the one that goes out and you make a change to end off today's video I want to give you guys a little homework assignment three action to do's that you guys can go and do right after this video so grab a pen or open up your notes app so the first thing is write down your top three goals in a journal and keep them private so make sure to clarify what it is that you want write down your three biggest goals three things it is that you want to do it doesn't matter what category it is make it big dream big the bigger the better and remind yourself of this carry this around with you when you have doubt this is something that I literally just started doing i took a note and i wrote down three things it is that i want three things that i want to achieve and i'm keeping this now in my purse i'm keeping this with me as i go because that has to be my reminder that i need to keep going especially when i'm low especially when i'm down literally just write three things down it could be on a post-it note it can be in a journal whatever it is that you want just set intention and put it in your writing because this is almost like a personal contract with yourself to honor those goals and to not forget about it two is write down a list of small actionable steps for each goal so this can be the actual action plan for how you are going to make these things happen. So for each of these three goals, 
write down maybe two or three steps for each on what you can do even starting this week to try to get closer and closer to these goals they are something that you should be able to accomplish or they, it is just something that you should be able to do that can bring you closer to that because the focus is to build that momentum to do any form of action even if it is small because that is going to create that belief for you that is going to keep creating that excitement and that momentum like i said to get you closer to your goals and the last step i will say is have a positivity source of things that you can read or go to or listen to when you are feeling down so have different sources or things that motivate you and inspire you whether it be books or podcasts or friends that you can turn to when you're feeling down because having this little positivity source or having these sources of positivity are what is going to help keep you up and keep you afloat especially during these tough times i know when i get really anxious or i get really nervous and sad i love to go either on pinterest and just scroll through some images or scroll through quotes that can pick me back up i like to talk to my sister i like to journal and just get my thoughts out sometimes i like to write future letters to myself so that me in five three even ten years can open them back up and think wow look at these things that i was going through look at all the things that i was feeling and then look at how my life is now so you guys can take any of these little exercises and do them yourself but thank you guys so 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 much for watching i really really appreciate all the support all of the love all of the kindness you guys are truly the best and i will see you in my next video bye